I'm Nick Adams, and I'm reading a Civil War letter from my great-great-grandfather, David Brainerd Grip Griffin, a corporal in Company F of the 2nd Minnesota. In camp near Harrodsburg, Kentucky, October 13, 1862. I have not written to anybody since we left Louisville for the reason that we have not been still long enough for me to write. We have been chasing the rebels for about one week, and we've not had but one hard battle, and that was last Wednesday at Perryville. We lost about 2,000 in killed and wounded, but the rebels had a heavy loss. We were drawn up to support the batteries, and the rebels fired shell and grape over, behind, and in front of us, within a few feet of us. They charged upon the battery twice, but we poured such a deadly fire into them that they had to fall back. Our brigade has got the praise of winning the day, which is a good deal in such a large army. I tell you, when I heard their big shells coming towards us, it was rather deathly music. Some of them sounded like a threshing ma machine cylinder. When they went through the air and the grape shot sounded like hail in the trees and leaves. A grape shot's about as large as a walnut. But the Lord willed that we should all come out safe. One man in the battery got both of his hands shot off and five or six of our men were wounded. I went out to the edge of the battle ground the next day and I saw enough to satisfy me. I went into one secesh hospital and it was a sight to behold. They were amputating legs and arms on all sides. Some were dying, others crying and calling upon absent friends, praying to die. It was a sight that I hope I may never see again.